Okay, <clears throat> the next project you'll be doing will be very similar to the last project, only you'll be doing a front tooth instead of a canine. So we'll be doing a maxillary right central incisor. Our measurements will be um, the length, you can see our measurements are going to be um, 25.5 for length, 7.8 for facial lingual dimension, and 9 for mesial distal dimension. So we're going to go ahead and proceed that way. First, we'll make our initial cuts. So I've sent my micrometer to just a half a millimeter longer than the prescribed length. So instead of 25.5, it'll be 26. And instead of 9 facial lingual, we'll set at So the parts that we'll be removing will be this part right here and this part right here. So let's go ahead and start. Again, just like the last time, most of our initial cutting is with the tip of the blade. We're poking really more than using the, the blade itself. So poking in and slightly point it outward from the center of the blocks. It's going to take about three passes to get here. I'll just peel this wax off. Kind of a rocking motion to separate those pieces. So there's our first pass. You get a feel for how much wax was removed. There goes our second pass. This time I'll be going a little bit more straight up and down. Not quite straight up and down, still pointed slightly outward. Here's where you're at on your second pass. And for your third pass, now I truly am going straight up and down. Straight cut right through the wax. So most of my force has been exerted on the tip of the blade. You can concentrate a lot more energy, a lot more power if you point it at a single entity. Here's where we're at on our third pass. You see still just a little tiny bit of a protrusion there. So we'll resolve that by scraping that last corner and squaring it out. Now we're going to take away this portion of the block. Again, tip of the blade, rocking motion, pointed slightly away from the center. There's our first pass along that cut. There goes our second pass. after our second pass and now our third pass straight up and down cuts there's 
Here we are. Again, just a little bit of scraping. As you remember from the previous project, whenever you're reducing by scraping, you make sure that periodically you change directions with your knife so that you don't get grooving. Otherwise you'll get kind of a washboard appearance to the wax. So, now we need to reduce Calling for 7.8, so plus 0.5 will put us at 8.3. Put our, our micrometer on the wax. Score it. We'll be removing all of that. Well, here we go, same technique. Turn it one side, knife point, rocking motion pointing away from the mid part, the part that we want to preserve. First pass. Second pass. Third pass. Give a rat. We'll just scrape it a little bit to true up the, the side and get it nice and perpendicular. Remember, always switch angles every few strokes. Come at a 45 degree angle to the direction you've been carving. Here's our block ready to, ready to go. Our next step is going to be to carve um, the shape from the facial side. So we're looking at this picture as dimensions. We're going to try to draw that picture on our wax block here. So, if I look at the mesial corner, well, that is really square to me. I don't see hardly any grounding. If I come over to the distal corner, that seems a little more rounded. The midpoint of the root is just about in the center. So we'll mark that. And we'll go ahead and just draw this, this tooth out. <clears throat> 